Hello and welcome back to Will It Work. Today we're going to take a look at the four external remotes that you can attach to an iPod Nano 7th generation. This makes it unique among all iPods. Now, just to be clear, when I'm talking about iPods in this video, I'm not talking about the iPod Touch. That is an iOS device. It sits in its own category. I'm just talking about the traditional music-based iPods. Okay, so like I said, this one we can attach four remotes to. The greatest number of remotes you can attach to any of the other iPods is two, either through the headphone jack, which evolved a little bit over the years, or the 30-pin connector. And some, like the original couple of iPods that didn't even have a dock connector, you'd only be able to use the headphone jack. And I believe with the iPod Shuffle, the first generation, that headphone jack doesn't even have uh, the support for an inline remote. It's just a standard two-prong left and right headphone jack. So that would have no remotes you could attach to it. So let's take a look at the four that we can hook up to the Nano. So the first thing I'm going to show you is just some standard inline remote ear pods with the three and a half millimeter jack. Most of you are familiar with these. I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in. The next thing would be the lightning port. Now we could attach it to like a lightning speaker dock uh, with some kind of extension cord so that we'd have space for this to stay in at the same time. But I'm just going to do something simpler. I'm going to use Apple's old universal dock. Uh, these came with a remote control and you could control all the features of the uh, iPod on them. And I'm going to put in the lightning to 30 pin adapter on here and that actually gives us enough room to put this in and this little uh, jack connector can now fit and we can have them both in at the same time. Okay, so that's the standard two that probably most people are familiar with and, and what would work on almost all of the iPods. When we start to get into the unique features, we're going to add Bluetooth which is the only iPod that has Bluetooth. And uh, it's interesting, so you can switch back and forth in the iPod's operating system to where you want your audio to go with these three devices on, but Bluetooth likes to be dominant, so if you touch any of the controls on the Bluetooth speaker, the audio will shift to it. Whereas if you use the controls on the lightning port or on the um, ear pods, uh, they will work, but it won't switch the music back to them. And I kind of like that, because it kind of gives us one steady place to um, have the music coming out of. Okay, so that's three, I promise you four. What is the fourth remote control that we can attach to the Dano? I'll give you a hint. I've been wearing it this entire video. It's right here on my wrist. This is the Nike Amp Plus Sport Band. And if you're not familiar with this, you might be familiar with its sister product, a little oval sensor that you would put inside special Nike shoes, and then you put a dongle into your iPod Nano's 30-pin connector, and it would communicate the steps back to the Nano. And this was a companion piece you could buy so you could control your music. So I got this in, and I, uh, it does work, but I was surprised that it just doesn't work throughout the entire iPod's operating system. It only works if you're in the Nike app with an actual workout running. So that was kind of odd, but we'll see if we can get all these to work inside of that workout app. So I'm gonna turn it on here, and we'll go into the workout app, and I'll start one up. Zoom to continue your workout. Resuming workout. Okay, so here is the um, Universal Docs remote. Let me turn the volume up, skip songs, back. Same thing here with the Bluetooth. And same thing here with the EarPods inline remote. So all three of those are working. Let's give the Nike Ant Plus a try. Yep, skipping songs. Volume. Stop. It'll ask if you want to stop the uh, workout. So here's something interesting. On all, on the Bluetooth uh, remote here for the lightning port and for the headphones, if I hit stop, the workout app will also prompt me if I want to stop the workout. Now, watch this here with the lightning remote. See, it stopped the music, but it didn't prompt me to stop the workout. I think that's really cool. You know what the reason for that is, is that because 
the operating system knows what to do with the stop command and will stop the music, but the Nike app was never programmed to do anything with it because you're not gonna go jogging with a speaker dock attached to your arm. So the, the app doesn't know anything about that. It just keeps the workout going, even though the operating system has paused the song. So there you go. Like I said, uh, all of them are working. Activity stopped. Pausing workout. And there you go. They all four work simultaneously. Now this has Out zero workout distance. It's going to talk zero for a minute. Miles. Time one minute fifty. It always does that when you stop the workout. So, like I was saying, this has zero practical value, but I think it is fascinating to kind of stress test this little tiny iPod that's no bigger than a business card, and the fact that all of these work simultaneously is really cool. Uh, just to be clear. Um, mm -hmm. I was talking about how this used to have a dongle that went in the 30-pin connector. On the Nano 7th generation, Apple actually integrated that right into the device so you didn't need the dongle anymore. They also did that with some of the early iPhones and some of the early iPod touches. But that's the reason that all four of these can work at the same time, because if I had to fill up the lightning port through the adapter into the dongle for it, then we wouldn't be able to use this remote as well. So. It's the only way that all this comes together is on the 7th gen Nano. So anyway, like I said, just a fun little experiment, nothing practical with this, but it is quite powerful and is quite unique that it was able to do all of these things and it could even do, in the, do them simultaneously. Well, that'll do it for today. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please like and subscribe. I'll be back soon, but for now, take care.